Hi everyone, here are my five top tips on how to turn your paralegal role into a training contract. So number one, it's get to know everyone around the firm. So that includes trainees, it includes partners, it includes associates, anyone that you can get to know in an easy way, just do it. Go out for lunches, meet people for coffee, um, pick a mentor at the firm, that could be a partner. If you pick a partner, then you're already on that partner's radar, they'll help uh, introduce you to other people around the firm. They might also introduce you to a new area of law, which is good. Um, and also if you get to know other trainees in the firm and start hanging out with them, whether that's socially or with the various initiatives that they do around the firm, then people will naturally see you as part of being part of that trainee group. So then when it comes to recruiting a trainee at the firm, you seem like an, a natural fit for a training contract. So number two is volunteer. So what I mean by this is every law firm has a corporate social responsibility policy. So they'll probably have various initiatives throughout the year to either volunteer for um, a school or volunteer for a charity. You know, just get involved, do as much as you can. It's gonna be um, spread out firm wide. Lots of people within the firm will get to know you through that and it will it will take very little of your time. Just basically take part in as much as you can just to get your face out there so people become familiar with who you are. This is particularly relevant if you're at a big firm and it's hard to get to know everybody. Number three is push yourself. Um, if you're a paralegal at a firm, then it's likely that there's gonna be various other paralegals at that firm. So why do you deserve the training contract over any of those? It's gonna be difficult for graduate recruitment to narrow down who they want from an internal pool as a potential trainee. So you've gotta make sure you make yourself stand out. So that could be finding a niche at the firm that they can't live without. Um, find something that you are really good at and that you excel at so that, that you're an asset to the firm. So for example, um, if there's a particular area of law that some people might not um, understand as much in your particular department, then you could hone in on that and learn as much about that as possible. So then you stand out, you become an um, instrumental to that department and they can't do without you. Just challenge yourself, never say no to a task um, as in, in so far as you can. People remember negativity more than they remember positivity. So for example, if someone asks you if you've got capacity to do work and you say no straight away, then they're probably gonna remember that longer than if you said yes five times. Um, so even if you don't have capacity to take on a task, you could always be like, I don't have capacity right now, but on this day I will, and just come back to them with a bit more of a positive solution. That leads me on to my next point. You're a paralegal because you want a training contract, so never feel like you can't be honest and open about your ambitions of securing a training contract. If you're at a firm where you feel like you can't be honest about your ambition, then that's probably not the firm for you and it's probably not where you're gonna get your training contract. From day one, you need to be clear, I'm here and I wanna be a paralegal, but this role is very much temporary and my long-term goal is to secure my training contract and be a qualified solicitor. Talk to HR recruitment, find out about what the process is to secure that training contract. Talk to the training managers, the training appraisers, uh, the training principal around the firm. Get your face out there, get to know all these people that are instrumental in deciding who the future trainees are going to be. And if you do that, then naturally all these people are going to make that decision on whether you get your training contract. So if they know you already and they know you're ambitious and they know you want it, it's, it's going to seem like an obvious decision to give you the training contract. Make it difficult for them to say no to you. And then finally, make sure you actually apply for the training contract. Once you're a paralegal and you're working, it gets comfortable and you can sometimes lose sight of why you're actually there, but don't forget, you're there because you want a training contract, apply for it, even if you're so nervous, just do it because it's not gonna be any easier the year after or the year after that or the year after that. Just go for your goals, apply for that training contract and get feedback at every possible stage. Just get as much feedback as you can because that's one of the benefits of being internal. You've got access to all those people in the firm that make the decision so they can give you that immediate feedback. There you go. I, good luck, everyone. <laughs>